The Orioles board the jet plane that takes them back to their home ground as the World Series shifts to Baltimore. After two quick victories, this flight should be a smooth and happy one. Baltimore is one of America's oldest and most historic cities. But modern new buildings are reaching skyward everywhere in the city's extensive redevelopment program. Memorial Stadium is one of the marks of Baltimore's great progress. It was built for the new Orioles when Major League Baseball returned here in 1954. Walter O'Malley, owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and Mrs. O'Malley arrive early to cheer the Dodgers. Claude Osteen, a 17-game winner this year, warms up for the Dodgers. Wally Bunker, another Baltimore youngster of 21, also starts loosening up. Baltimore fans are eager to see their heroes in action. Dick Brown, the Oriole catcher who was out all season after a serious operation, throws out the first ball. There come the spirit and Orioles bouncing out of the dugout. Bunker takes his final warm-up. Arm trouble this year held his record to 10 and 6. Mari Wills gets ready to lead off. The Dodgers shortstop opens the game by striking out. Wes Parker is the next batter. Bunker's fastball is fairly sizzling, and he strikes out Parker on the third pitch. Wally's first pitch is hit to left field by Willie Davis, and Bleffery charges across, and just short of the wall, makes the catch. In the Dodgers' second, fairly smash rips the glove off Bunker's hand, and Ron beats it out for a hit. Lou Johnson steps to the plate with one on and one out. Bunker delivers, and Lou hits sharply to short. Aparicio flips it to Dave Johnson, who relays the first for a fast twin killing. That ends the inning. After Powell singles in the Baltimore second inning, with one out, Wills signals to Lefevre. Claude Osteen, who has a wonderfully smooth style, goes into his windup and pitches. Dave Johnson swings on a three and two pitch and wraps a grounder to Maury Wills at shortstop. Maury fields the ball cleanly and wastes as little motion as possible as he fires to Lefever for the force out. Jim pivots quickly and it's a double play. So far, the game is still scoreless. John Kennedy is up in the Dodger third. The young third sacker slashes the ball through the middle. But there goes Aparicio, and he reaches out and spears it. What a play. It looked like it was through there for a hit. Now little Louie puts on the break and throws perfectly to first base. Though Kennedy just can't believe it. And neither can the crowd. One out, and Wes Parker is the batter in the Dodger four. Bunker gets two quick strikes on Parker. Then Wes slams the ball to deep right center. And it bounces into the bleachers for a ground rule double. And for the second time, Wes has lost a possible triple. Aparicio and Echebaron huddle briefly with Bunker. Following Fairley's walk, there now are two on and two out. However, Wally retains his poise and Lefevre fans on a 
wicked sinker to choke off another Dodger threat. Paul Blair comes up in the Oriole fifth with two out. Osteen cuts loose with his first pitch, and Blair connects solidly. There it goes. Back, back. It's a home run. A fan caught the ball out there. It's a 430-foot drive. A tremendous flash. This is a big one indeed at this point. All the Orioles are on their feet applauding Blair as he heads into the dugout. And the Orioles are in the lead, one to nothing. Bleffery bats in the Orioles' six. And the slugging outfielder rifles the liner toward right, but Parker leaps up for a spectacular one-handed catch. It ends the inning and keeps the Dodgers within striking distance of the Orioles. Baltimore fans are tense as the game goes into the ninth, with the Orioles still clinging to that narrow one-to-nothing edge. First man up for the Dodgers is Ron Fairley. And Ron fans on a fastball breaking away from it. Then Dave Johnson throws out Lefevre for the second out. Andy Etchebaron urges Bunker to keep pouring it on. Lou Johnson swings and misses for strike two. There are two out, but it takes only one swing to tie the score. So far, it's been Bunker's best effort of the season since he hasn't had a shutout all year. Uncoiled from his beautifully balanced windup, Wally fires another fastball. Johnson takes a terrific cut. But he tops the ball for a grounder to short. Mauricio gathers it in easily and takes his time on the throw. And the Orioles win one to nothing for their third straight victory. Brooks Robinson and Aparicio lead the charge to congratulate Bunker. And the other hero is Paul Blair. Only twice before has a one-to-nothing World Series game been decided by a homer. 